You know what general aviation isn't concerned about? Cup holders. My family and I, we like to go flying around and uh, enjoying the sights and the scenery that you get uh, by being a, a general aviation pilot. Um, we get to see amazing sights like uh, these views of downtown Chicago uh, flying over the lakefront. Uh, you can see the Willis Tower or whatever it's currently called and the museum. This is formerly Miggs Field that Mayor Daly uh, bulldozed. So there's not a lot of places to put a cup holder and I certainly don't want to go cutting and screwing into uh, the airframe or uh, different parts of the airplane. We're looking for a place to put a cup holder. Uh, I identified it here in the ashtray area. So I can build a part that fits into that ashtray and holds this cup. So here's the basic design. I have this cylinder that will set up on this piece that will sit, fit down into the cup holder and, um, and hold it there. So let's draw that up real quick. So we'll start with our circle. It's a hundred millimeter diameter. We'll hold that cup. We need it to be about this tall. And the lip on the cup is 4.75 millimeters. So we'll just make it right there. is rounded and it would be nice to kind of have the outer part rounded too uh, for people who's brushing up against it. So make that about three or four millimeters the uh, fillet there. I'll make a chamfer here to make the cup easier to get into the cylinder. Okay, we'll hide the sketch layer and we'll name this cup holder. And there we go. So now we can draw the part that will fit down into that ashtray's piece. It's 48 millimeters. by 62.83 millimeters. And it's 41.6 millimeters tall. So now, uh, since we're upside down here, it actually extruded it down instead of up. It would have been easier to extrude that up, but that's okay. We just move it up and move it over and we'll get it into position anyway. This doesn't need to be precise. We're gonna uh, build it into parts so it's easier to print. And to fit into that cup holder slot, we're going to round the edges here. Give ourselves some extra room. And we'll f f uh, chamfer this. Oops, wrong direction. Well, looks like we can't do six for this. We'll have to do a smaller amount. And that should be good enough. So now let's get it close to its proper position. I'm gonna add some uh, place to put some bolts or screws so that uh, to hold these two parts together. And I'm also gonna glue it. So that's pretty good for the height. And we'll hollow this out. It doesn't need to be solid.
Let's move it over a little this way so we can figure out where to place our fasteners. Yeah, that looks good. So now we'll make the holes for the bolts and the screws. There, and we'll do a triangle. Now we'll cut the holes and um, we'll countersink these so that they're f not uh, sitting over top so that the cup can sit all the way down in there. There we go. And let's go ahead and just add a little color to this, makes it look a little nicer. Doesn't really matter, but um, I like to be able to see through it so I can see how the part sits on top of each other, get a better view of what's going on underneath. Now this is a AR so that we can see what it would kind of look like here. I just kind of place it up next to the real cup here. So this is the drawing virtualized next to the cup here so we can get a kind of view of what it would look like. Obviously you don't have the size set right there, but I still like to just kind of do this to, to get a feel for it. And this is the finished cup holder before I insert into the ashtray. And this is it uh, with an actual cup in it. Uh, future things definitely can do is uh, add some more print piece in there to make it a set for different size cups. This is pretty loose for this, this particular cup. Um, so that would definitely room for improvement there. <laughs> 